Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Aaron, and we're going to run through Haven Workbench and give you a demonstration of how it works. Thanks, Jake. Uh, what I want to show you is a new offering that we're uh, releasing, which is called the Haven Workbench. It sits on top of all of uh, Haven engines up in Helion Cloud. And it offers for developers a very quick way to accelerate their development and to build analytical solutions very fast. Okay, so it has a set of uh, around 1,200 services that comes out of the box with it, either more technical services or more business-oriented services. You can use the services that we provide or build your own services or compose or modify, customize your own services. And if you're a less technical person, like a business analyst or the regular Excel user, uh, we also have a wizard, a very um, easy to use wizard at your disposal to allow you uh, to predict from any given data sets, to do prediction and, and uh, predict the values in three, th three st simple steps. Sorry. All right. Can we take a look at uh, one of the examples that you guys are showing off here at Discover? Of course. I'll be glad. Um, let me show you an example of. Let's say in the case you're a developer and you need to develop an application around weather. Okay, I need to do some analytics around weather. Um, and I want to go into the Haven Workbench and look for what are existing assets do we have that's regarding weather. So I'm actually, I can go here and like uh, free search text, uh, free text search, we're focusing on a giving service and what I have here Immediately I get access to a service that was built. I can uh, see all the details for that service. I can try this. I can actually see uh, how to call it from code. Very easy to just call it from code if I like. Uh, I can do this as copy and paste, move it into my code and use it. And if I'm not sure that I uh, want it or want it exactly as it is now, I can also go ahead and uh, modify it. Okay, I can see the composition as itself. And I can decide, I can add other, in a graphical way here, I can add additional blocks to the picture and, and change the composition. And again, everything is going to be saved later on, persisted on our, on our service catalog. So imagine that I am, as a developer, can come here, enjoy from what other developers in my organization have done, or do for them, well, no, do something that I do, and later on they can actually reuse that later on. So it's a, like, a collaborative way to create your uh, analy analy uh, sorry, analytics in a very simple manner. Now, is that collaboration happening between, say, other people in my company if I am the user? Or is that happening across a broad set of Haven Workbench users? Great question. Is Actually, you can do it and, and use what you have in your organization, but think of partners, analytical partners and, uh, and people that have skills that want to sell their expertise, they can develop this and and give it and you know let customers consume it in their organizations. So actually it's a way to uh, to uh, reuse your skill set and your project that you've done once as a as a partner uh, to do it again and in a way faster manner. Now let's imagine for a second let's take on uh, the simple scenario uh, this is a just one more thing. Look at all the services, and there are, as I mentioned, 1,200 services, uh, either technical, non-technical. For example, even the simplest thing, you can work with Vertica here, so I can just see uh, this is a service to list the columns in my database. I don't need to have DBA skills. I don't need to, to install anything. Immediately, I can consume this and use it in my organization. So it simplifies my work as a developer to a great extent. Uh, last thing I want to show you, Jake, is if I am, uh, let's say I'm a business analyst, and again, I'm not a technical person, but I do want to create prediction on a given data set. What I can do is in three steps, very simple steps. One is selecting the data. I'm actually mapping to the data set that I want. And uh, here, what you see here is a data file from export from Salesforce that were uploaded as is to the system. Immediately I can analyze it and understand what's inside and interesting in that data. When I'm moving to the analysis part, 
the system automatically spawns various algorithms. Here you see that the system actually try various configuration of random forest and SVM. These are different machine learning algorithms in different in separate configurations. And what he did is actually tested those for their accuracy and recommends, okay, that this specific thing is the most accurate one. I can go with this most accurate one and say, okay, I don't know what that, but it got the best scoring. I can now use it and either go and download the Excel, continue playing with Excel or use it. Or I can actually see the visualization here inside of the system. And beside that, I can all also access this through API. Okay, so I have all the options very quickly to build a, a predictive model for my data without knowing all the, the complexities that are needed to do that underneath it. So this really makes it so that um, you don't necessarily need an end-to-end -end skill set to be able to analyze your data. You just need to understand data analysis in order to be able to, to look at some things. That's true. You need to know your data. You need to know what you want to do. That's always the important thing to do, to know. And uh, once you know that, no technical skills, you go through that and you actually can accomplish it. Yeah. All right. That's a, a, that looks like a very powerful tool. It is. It does. And uh, we're actually releasing this now in a limited preview mode, meaning that we're looking for partners and customers that are uh, wanting to have access to this and to start to uh, harness this, those capabilities to their benefit. Cool. Well, thanks, Aaron. Thank you very much.